Hello there. If you fall at some point, I will cry because there's lots of expensive stuff that you're sit this camera's sitting on because I don't know how to film. And right now the tripod for this is the box that I usually keep my camera equipment in, another box that my mic came in, a Hard Rock Cafe glass in its box, a Haribo packet, uh, like box, uh, flippy sweet box thing, my old notebook, and then the camera. <laughs> so it's a mess. Um, which is great. Um, anyway, hello there. I am planning this month, if I can do it correctly, to do Vedim. And this is the only video of Vedim that is going to be on this first channel because the rest I'm going to put on my second channel, which none of you know exists. I think maybe one or two of you do, I don't know, like my friends do, but whatever. I have all of about four subscribers on there, so that's great. And I'm going to tell you all that I have a second channel, so you can go and see that if you want, I'll put it in the description or something. Um, so that's where these videos are going to be. If you want to see me do Vedim, there's that. And I'm sorry that I'm terrible at talking. Anyway, onto the actual video portion of this, the actual content portion of the video that isn't like, hey, this and that. Um, that made zero sense. I don't care. Anyway, I'm going to be, I remember like, how long ago? Like 10 months ago? Maybe a year ago? Don't know. I did this video called Some Lovelies, which was basically me talking about YouTubers that I liked, I think. You, just people I liked, I can't remember, but it was predominantly YouTubers, because I talked about Dodi a lot, I'm pretty sure. That's all I remember, because it was a while ago. Um, and I decided to do Some Lovelies 2.0, see, you can read the thing. Um, and I'm talking about YouTubers, and look, I'm old timey. This is the only thing I could find, so this is my YouTube folder thing now. Um, I am going to use this and I'm going to read some names I have here, one of which I think you just saw. Um, for you, young, like younger, smaller YouTubers, and by smaller I mean like under 10,000, because like that counts as small to me, even though I have like 75 subscribers or something like that, but you know, who cares? Anyway, whatever, I keep saying anyway, let's do this thing. So, the first person who you, I think you, pre I'm pretty sure you saw, is called A Million Mad Musings that has about 6,000-ish kind of going on to 7 subscribers and her name's Becca I think her name's Becca, I'm pretty sure her name's Becca if I get that wrong I'm going to be very sad and I'll feel very bad but yeah and basically what she does she talks a lot about fandoms and um stuff and she talks about um, like she talked, she made a video about the there being a female doctor, which I'm not going to talk about because I haven't seen it. Like I'm not going to talk about it until we're some way through next season because I don't want to say anything. So, um, also I have no idea. But anyway, um, she does she did that and she's lots of fun, but she's also quite funny along with the fandomy stuff. She made she does this video this um what's the word. She does a series called Tipsy OTPs, where she talks about OTPs while being tipsy. Hmm, who would have thought? But she's done one, there was, there was Des Desio, um, John Locke, uh, there was Martha, I think, the one from Hannibal, and I can't remember what it's called because I haven't seen Hannibal. Oops. And there was one about the 100, I haven't seen either of those shows, so I can't tell you which one it was. But I know it was the lesbian one in a, the hundred, I think. I don't know. I might be wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, anyway, I'm talking way too much. But anyway, either way, she does, like, politically show-related stuff. Talks about Sherlock a lot, or did, when it came out. And she made some fun, top-class videos about that, which was good. And is overall very funny. But also, the most recent video she uploaded was, called, was about bum bags and how they're great. And I completely agree. So... That's like what sort of content she does, and I love her for it, she's brilliant. Anyway, moving on from A Million Man Musings on Tumblr, and on Tumblr, on YouTube, also on Tumblr I think, on YouTube, who you should check out because she's lovely. Um, next person, human thing, is Amazing Dog Pie, who has like 4,000-ish subs. I don't know why I'm telling you these things, just so you know, because there's one of these that has a much smaller amount in comparison. Um, 4,000-ish subs, and she does... If, if you know her, you'll probably know her due to the fandom. 
as in PH fandom, as in Dan and Phil and stuff. But like, she's that was like three years ago when she did that stuff, and she's not part of that anymore, and she's not defined by that anymore. It's just that a few years ago that was a thing she did, and if you do know her, that's probably how. Um, but she didn't do that anymore. She does covers and original songs and. She sings quite a bit and it's nice and she has a lovely singing voice. She's also British, so there's that. I feel so much better. So was a million of my musings, by the way. I feel so much better than the people I watch aren't like American. When they're like European, I feel so much better. <laughs> because they're from my corner of the globe, even though the globe, the globe is a sphere and that's not how stuff works. But I like that phrase, so I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. She does songs and she's quite funny and I like her, basically. A lot of these are going to be very similar because I like watching people who make covers. Anyway, here, yeah. K. Austin, who has about a thousand and something subs, thousand four hundred something like that. I can't remember exactly because I haven't checked, but roughly it's about a thousand. Um, I think I might be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure because I checked roughly and I just looked at the first digit and then, so yeah, um, yeah, K. Austin, she did. If you know her, you'll know her from a mashup she did a year ago that was Dear Evan Hansen mashup and it was brilliant and I love her for it. It was amazing and she talks about musicals and songs and does some singing. <laughs> Seems to talk about Dear Evan Hansen quite a lot which is great and um, she's lovely and is a cool bean and I like I've literally wrote down is cool bean. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah. That's that. Note. Okay. Now I have two others. I don't have that many. Give me recommendations for smaller YouTubers because I really like promoting people and I want to make this a series. So um, so this one is the smallest one. I don't know how much the last one has because I didn't quite check because I'm a bad person. Anyway, is this one is Music Madness who has 165 subscribers. That's not that much. Okay, that is more than me. That's like 90 more than me, but still. We're kind of in a similar range of subscribers, not really, but kind of close-ish in the big scheme of things, and it's fun. I love Music Madness. I don't even know their gender, so I'm just going to say they, because I'm genuinely not sure. And I don't want to offend or anything, I just don't know, because I just watch covers and I, you know, i just genuinely not sure, and I don't, like, want to have to scour through for me to check, because they never say it, because they do mostly covers, so. Anyway. Music Madness, who does, let's guess, uh, you guessed it, music. Um, they do mostly covers and of lots of things. They do like Panic at the Disco, but also like Dear Evan Hansen and Be More Chill and stuff. And it, they're great and I love them. Again, not sure how they identify, but like, I like them either way. So, anyway even, not either way, that makes no sense. And the last one, whose subscriber count I do not know, because I'm terrible. It's called Autumn Anderson. Oh look, we have matching um, season names, yay. Um, who, I don't know how to describe Autumn. She does some like cover, she does some covers and some original songs, but then she also talks about like important questions while doing laundry. So, you know, <laughs> she's just sort of, I, I've, I wrote a bit random down in here, but not in a bad way. She just sort of does her own thing and it's nice. Very like, relaxing to watch. Um, I think she's American. Pretty sure she's American. I don't know about Music Madness. I have no idea. I think they might be American but I don't know. Oops. I do not remember because I'm terrible. Um, anyway, yeah. Autumn Anderson does covers and stuff. That is the last one because I only had one, two, three, four. I only had five. Wow. That's sad. I'm so sorry, I should know more, but I don't. Recommend me smaller YouTubers, because I want to support people, and I want to make more of these videos, so... I need to have people to add to them. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you will join me in this adventure of Vedim, and this adventure of finding fun new videos, and this... YouTubers, and this was inspired by a vid the video that M Popcorn most recently made, who's also a small YouTuber. Ish, kind of, I don't know. I really don't know how many subscribers she has. I, I picture her as like a small YouTuber, but I genuinely don't know. Um, she might be. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, I like her either way, and she made a video recently. So look up Emma... Look up Emma... Pop, popcorn, and she made a video about it. 
and it'll be fun. And this is what this is inspired by. So I hope you'll enjoy me in this video bedroom adventure. Finally, I'm finishing. And I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Bye. Bye.